Trying to get a new one. Wolf day. Winter's gonna hurt us bad, isn't it? Hmm. We have no real way of getting coins. Must better rest up. Anything for us, Banger? There you are. I haven't. Oh, it costs eight now to give you your, your crown back. Holy shit! Yeah, don't worry about it for now. So apparently, the lizard sunbathes in fire, or sunbathes to gain ability to use fire. Ah, and you cannot sunbathe at night. Makes sense. It sunbathes recharge stamina, and doesn't work during the winter. Oh, because it's winter. But I just breathe fire. And there's still sun. I just have to outlive the winter. So far, the winter's not being very kind to us. I am not aiming on losing it, I'm gonna stay inside. Or vagrant. How long winter will last? Probably check that too. Might be just the assemblers type winter. Okay, so I can just hit shift. Do it. Oh, that works. Oh, so I can just. I don't have anything. Damn it. Oh, so I can use Shift 2 to um, activate my ability. Okay, I don't have to have to double tap. Nice to know. And the fire takes stamina. Oh, they can. Put him. Yeah. We have him. I have no crown. Yeah. I do have a fire breathing lizard though. Come on, something come from here. That's cool. Oh, that is actually quite powerful. Wow, that is. Using it properly before. Probably not, but that's impressive. Now I can use it as much as I want. That's weird. So it had to have been a stamina thing, but now that I actually know how to use the fire breathing power. Wait, but yeah, I... if you want the bear, it's to the right. Yeah, but I don't uh -oh. think I need the bear at the moment. I'm really worried about just getting us a way to earn money. Well, the issue is it's just winter, so we can't do much. What does it say about winter, if there's anything? I haven't even looked. Let me get behind a wall before I start googling things. I am behind a wall. Oh, you should be behind a wall, yeah? Yeah. That's what I said. Let me get behind a wall. Cause I'm nice and safe behind walls, and can still breathe fire. Yeah, we got very good defense. Nothing for the hunters. And Steam is apparently going offline, but I guess that's because it's updating or something. So we're still on the first year, right? Yeah, I think we're still in the first year. 
Well, it says it lasts from 40 day 49 in total to 64, so 16 day. Holy crap, that's gonna be a long wait. Can we find out what our total day is currently? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm checking. And, oh, uh, oh, wait. L I I I. L. Is there an L for that? Uh, oh, it's a large I. I, I, I. Actually, there is an L, and that's 50, apparently. So we are on day 53. Oh, wait, it's I, I, I. It is, yeah, 53 then. Which means we have another 13 days of winter. Holy shit, okay. And there's nothing to hunt. It's gonna be some harsh days. Probably explore to the right then and see if we can find anything else. That's you it. don't. You That's are it. not allowed. Yeah, I'm not gonna go exploring, obviously. Now that I know how to use the firepower, I think I can survive. I just can't ever sprint because that fireball requires, um,. Stamina. Right. So we got a few extra peasants. Yeah, I have no money either. If you have no money, that means they shouldn't attack you when you go out there. Oh, I know. I have no crown, no money, no nothing, so I'm perfectly safe to wander. Yes, I don't think the greed are gonna even do anything to you. They don't. I've already kind of confirmed that as soon as I lost my crown and had no money, they kind of stopped running towards a wall. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why they're called the Greeds, because they go after shiny things. I think that's the whole premise. I'll just pour some Pepsi. Sorry, I was cleaning up an invasion. Yeah, so did they just completely ignore you? Well, I, in my defense, I was kind of walking away when there was a fireball around. <laughs> But yeah, they don't pay you any heat, though. Pretty much. In my defense, they didn't get a chance to pay me any heat because I was just burning them alive. But it kind of makes sense that the greed would just, you know, ignore your very existence if there's nothing on your value. I have a basilisk. True, oh, but I that's not shiny. It. Oh wait, there are no more chests this way. I got to the dock when I explored this way before. Ah, I know what I have to do for this money. Banger just gave us output, so I'm gonna pour all the gold I have into the banger. That means we should get more money later on. Cause yeah, we have no income currently. And that's why I just gave all my money to the banger. In a few days we might have some coins. I guess he's not called the banger in the league. He's probably called something else. I don't know. We can call it what we want. He does look. He doesn't look like a banger. He looks more like like an administrator. Same difference, really, with bankers. Yeah. Just handles it for the crown. And this winter's gonna be really harsh. I'm guessing the winter gets longer the, the later years we get into. It didn't look like it. The winter's just how many days was it? 13? It was 16. 16 days, okay. Like each one. Let me go look again under seasons. Yeah, it looks like it's just 16 days pretty much every time. Okay, so it's just 16 days where you cannot farm and hunt. Ah, Vagrant's on his way to the bread, but I have no money. And I have no money anyway either because I just, you know... Now ah, then that poor bread is gone. Yeah, well, at least we'll have two Vagrants because I'll just put another Vagrant in here. We'll have two Vagrants whenever the banger decides to give us stuff. 
Well, we, would have, we have no use for more anyway, so the bread leaving's pretty fine. Yeah. I'm assuming if there's no vagrant camps, do the vagrants still spawn if you have the bread or not? I think so. Alright, so the beggar's essentially... Because I think it just plain spawns them. Okay, so the, ba the beggar is essentially essential later on in the game. You need him. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but he just ate the... Oh! He doesn't eat the bread instantly. No, they take time. Yeah, I just saw him, I just saw him eating it. <laughs> Actually, it is called a banker, by the way. Oh, he is a banker, okay. Yeah, it's banker interest. Now, how hey, much is this other horse? The one I had? Yeah. Now that I have a fire breathing lizard, it, I kind of feel bad leaving him out here. That's why we want to stable in the future. How much interest does the banker have? If it's this. Well, he needs a minimum of 10 coins. I think I gave him enough for that. I'm assuming it's per day or something. He gives something then. Um, hold on. Seven percent. Seven percent. So you really have to stack it up on him. Yeah. The more hundred coins stored, uh, banker contributes an extra eight coins a day. Okay, yeah, so if so you have one hundred, you want to use the banker for winter. Right. So tons of cash for that. And too bad we didn't have enough coin by the time winter happened. In my defense, I didn't even know winter was coming. You know, but I, I did start to notice that the grass was starting to disappear. And that the uh, trees were starting to get more brown. Honestly, though, I'm not sure how entertaining this will be to the people since we can't do anything. Yeah, I'll probably just um, skip it here. Oh yeah, we just got uh, four coins from the banker. That's not bad. I piled these four coins on him? Honestly, at this point, there's no reason to hold any money. So, might as well just give him all the coins. More yeah. stockpile means more interest eventually. Why does this builder have three coins? I have no idea. Is he cutting trees again? Might be. Technically speaking, if you store at least 100 coins with a banker every five days, you can refill. Completely. This every... will work every five days indefinitely by utilizing your earnings from interest alone. <laughs> so you can get a lot of money out of him. Pretty much. So we need to remember that for the next time. We need to plan for the next winter so we can fill him with money. Yeah, just to so fill him with money to do things. That's nice to know for the future. Oof. <laughs> I like burning things. You don't say. A nice little camp. Yeah, yep. I'm heading to the right for no particular reason in all honesty. Oh, there we go. Another coin for the banker. Yeah, if you I just... don't have a crown, so I don't think I can give him money anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of useless. I'm more of a lizard knight at this point than a royalty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a fire-breathing lizard, so it's fine. It's meta strategy. Yeah, totally. You do all the building, I burn everything. Wow, imagine assaults now with a fire-breathing lizard. Actually, I wonder if it affects portals. But you could try. Well, let's, let, let's see. I have a portal right in front of me now. Nope. Oh, yeah, nice. I can tell. I suppose that would be kind of. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be fun. Well, time to just wait. It should be night soon, right? Yep, it's almost night. Ah, I burned thee. Ah, I still burned thee. Mango in sight. Ah, I burned these things. Ah, there's more. 
Yeah, they do just completely ignore me. So they just don't give a shit. Pretty much. This is pretty useful. Until I want a crown back, then I kind of screwed us money-wise. You, you can explore and see if there's anything of value out there, like... I don't think there is, because I lost my crown this way and didn't find anything of value. Except a bear. Not know. very useful currently, though. I don't know how valuable a bear is. Well, it's oh, a bear. that's what the tower does. The tower, the tower guy will insta kill the first one that approaches, because his shot just faces through the wall. Um, you are where majority of these things die in one hit, right? Yeah, but like his his first shot will always face through the wall. The tower Hello, guy, Mr. Bear. Goodbye, Mr. Bear. <laughs> That's a very chill bear if it doesn't attack you. I'm a fire-breathing basilisk. The banger, do you have any interest? Yep, yep, you do. Aww. I can't burn that either. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I just gave him more, more money. Annoying time. Yeah. Sadly. We don't even have a nice steady income either, which is the issue. Yeah, if we do the banger thing, we would probably have stock up on him a lot more. Pretty much. I'd have probably not bought a basilisk. We are on LVI. Oh, Roman. Well, that's interesting. The f do we have farmers? Yes, so we do. Apparently, they throw their scythes into the water going to the wiki. Wait, what? I don't know. It says after a few days more pass, they just chuck their scythes into the water for some reason for other tools. I don't think we have other tools. Yeah, so. Oh, that's, that explains why I've seen so many without jobs, suddenly. Well, I did hire two more vagrants. Because they ate all bread. And well deserved it. Yeah, so essentially, if the farmers have nothing to do, they just throw their tools. Apparently. Kinda makes sense. Oh, Steam is back online. Hey, Steam lives. Ah, oh, the silence. Get a rustling of the wind. Banger? Yeah, nothing that can be done right now. Got Banger here somewhere. And it's the same, we have to wait this long for the winter to end. He's barking to the right. I'm assuming you're gonna explore left and uh, how do you have the chance? I've already explored all of left too. Left's where the U wall is. Ah. I've explored both ways. How do you think I lost my crown twice? <laughs> Harsh land. Is there any greed over here? Come on, people. I will burn you some more. Here come to greed. I see that. And now they're all burning. I just keep shooting them. This basilisk is hilarious. It's probably one of the best mounts for, you know, fighting. The D best. In terms of defending a wall, I don't think anything can beat it. Just because it burns things quick. But I've heard the griffin is very popular. I okay. said in terms of defending the wall, not everything. 
Oh yeah, but I'm just saying like the Griffin can like push enemies away from the wall into the archer fire. I think that's why people like it. Hello, banker, some interest. Ah yeah, good. Hold the money back. Keep throwing money at him, basically. The griffin can graze anywhere, that's interesting. Yeah, because I believe it actually puts its beak down and eats a mouse. Just pulls a mouse yeah, up. only it. two gems and eight coins. Pretty interesting. And he's on the first island. Mm-hmm. So once we get this island done, we'll probably return to the first island and do that one, I guess. Or go to whatever the final island is. Is there... How many more islands are after this one? Only one. Probably set up on the final island, then we can go back and do them all in order. Well, I imagine, anyway. Preferably not during winter, this is taking forever. Oh yeah, the winter is so far really annoying. Well, I can get why they added it, because it's meant to be like a little bit of a mid-game challenge. It's not even necessarily a challenge unless you have bad walls. Oh yeah, definitely. Right now it's just really slow. It's down as only do. I wonder how this Shogun thing is going to play out. Nah, no, I won't have a Basilisk, sadly. Yeah, but we get other things. I think we can even get a dragon. Oh, a Japanese-style dragon. Although I think it's in the shape of a horse, strangely enough. I also think the Griffin is in the Shogun thing where it's named something else and looks different. Looks Japanese. Uh, makes sense. It's Japan. Yeah. It does kind of make me want to play me some Shogun, though. Yeah, Shogun 2 was a great game. It's a great game. Still my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely one of the best total games ever. Whatever did I not? Probably call it the best Total War ever, actually. I don't know if I'd call it the best. It had its fair share of issues, especially in multiplayer. Oh, yeah, but like, it was very well polished. It was very well polished, yes. But do you not remember the machine guns? Oh, yeah. I'm... Hundreds of machine guns. machine guns. Gonna monks. Most hilarious thing I ever saw, and most bullshit thing I ever saw. Now, how do people reload muskets the first? <laughs> they don't even reload them. It's magic. Bang! Hold it up. Bang! Bang. <laughs> it's like, okay, I get it. They're monks. They're good, but nobody can reload it in a few seconds. Like, do you remember gun? Do you remember just bow monks? How ridiculous they also were. It was the gun monks that were more ridiculous, just because they could be behind your troops. Oh yeah. They would just shoot through the ranks somehow. Magic. It's really easy to not. There's a lot of these things over here. Holy shit! Yay for breathing fire. Yeah, I think the attack side intensifying. Yeah, we have a fire-breathing lizard over here and a bunch of archers over there. I could honestly probably hold this wall on my own. Like, in all honesty. Surprise me. It's kind of sad. <sighs> There is more articles about the dude who used to run Starbucks wanting to run for president now. <laughs> this is getting hilarious. What? Yeah, the former CEO of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, he is seriously considering running for president. I guess because Trump succeeded, he thinks he can? I'm actually all for that. If we have a decent human being actually running, but still. I don't know much about him. What kind of guy is he? I have no fucking clue. Trump? Uh, according to Trump, he does not have the guts to run, to be president, though. <laughs> probably. I don't know. I would not believe what Trump says, in all honesty. I don't know. Trump says a lot of things. Honestly, I think I'd prefer a business person around the country. Just not over Trump. Or a politician. Just not Trump. Hey, Trump started everything. He'll go down in name as one of the worst human beings to ever be president. But also potentially making 
the government run by more po non-politicians. Oh, probably, Possibly. but still. Run by <laughs> rich people. Still, it's hey, just... I'm all for that. I know, I'm just no, saying, like, honestly. Trump is not really the best example of a good president, though. No. But hey, our government's up and running, temporarily. Oh yeah, because you kinda needed it. For now. I don't think it's gonna be running beyond February whatever. Yeah, uh, isn't it just, like, temporary to make sure that all the basic things... It was be... a three-week-long thing, yeah. Yeah, to ensure all the basics don't, you know, destroy America. I have a feeling it's going to last a little longer than that. Oh, Once yeah. Once it shuts down again. Essentially, the whole deal was just to get the government people, you know, paid again, so they do their work. As you cannot... think they'd be paying them anyways? So I'm wondering. Like, you'd think running the government would be pretty important. Oh, yeah, but it's just because of how you're going. <laughs> hey. I, I will give Trump this, he did not use emergency powers. That's true, that's good on him, but he probably also knows I, if he uses emergency powers, everyone will freak out. There would definitely be issues, but... Honestly, it, it would not surprise me if he got to the stage where he decides to do it, when there's nothing. Just for his precious wall. At least he didn't He dropped the wall thing for this, you know, 30 day thing, so that's good. No, it's not, it was three weeks, not even oh, 30 weeks. days. So I'm wondering. It's only until like mid February. I'm wondering about the banger. When I walk, the one, the money I get when I walk next to him is that his um, his dividends, or is that literally just me taking everything from the bank and then just giving it back to him? How does that work? I don't know. Because so I'm not 100 percent sure how the banker works. I just know he gives interest. How about you count how much money you give him? True. I am giving him every today? coin every time, and I think I am getting one more coin now and then. Let's see after tonight. Night is coming. Oh no! More hostiles! Breathe fire. Alright. That is I'm winning. There we go. So done. Good job, everyone. Wow, these mask guys are resistant. Oh, are they? Are they? Are the masks becoming really powerful now? They're getting annoying. Yeah, they they will start to get stronger. Still couldn't really resist my fire too well, but kind of surprising. Ah, the gold pile in the castle door is starting to get bigger. And yes, that's more money. But he is providing a little bit extra. Works for me. L I X. I need a Pepsi. I'm liking the Pepsi I'm drinking right now. There you go, got a Pepsi. And I can hear you actually uh, <laughs> opening the can. Yeah, I deliberately did that. I put it on top of my desk, which is next to my microphone, like, literally. <laughs> my Pepsi is now next to it, now it's on my desk. There's about a foot distance. And a soon end. The thing about the Yeti mic is, it's not connected to your face. Just FYI. Yeah, obviously. It's under the desk. Mine's next to my desk. And it's actually farther away. My Pepsi is closer to the mic than I am. <laughs> but I'm using a standing desk. So there's that. I suppose this will be political, though. Basically, but we're here talking about Trump and everything. Alright, what other crap politics can we talk of? Ah, I know. Brexit bullshit. Oh, yeah, Brexit. Things aren't going well with that, still. It's kind of funny. Yeah, no, it, it, it's going to be a hot Brexit. So. Here's the question. How will America outdo Brexit? It's a really good question. We originally outdid them le wanting to leave by electing Trump. And so how do we outdo them leaving if they do leave without a deal? 
Like I personally I really screw things up. I personally don't get how they. Oh, oh, the hunters got money. I think the starting to... game is starting to come back. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so the I'm just gonna find you somehow. Might mean that spring is coming. That could be a good step forward for the kingdom. <laughs> 